The constitution stipulates that president is the commander-in-chief of the UPDF. However, a declaration on Saturday placing all the UPDF elements under the command of the chief of the defense forces has stirred some confusion. President Yuri Museveni made the declaration at a meeting of the Defense Council, the main governing organ of the army, where he launched an instrument dubbed the UPDF establishment of 2021. We present the UPDF establishment 2021, an instrument of the related command, control, and administration to General Wilson Mbassum Badi, the Chief of Defense Forces of the UPDF, to command all elements of the United States Defense Forces. UPDF spokesperson Brigadier Felix Kulaije has offered clarification on the matter, maintaining that the president holds the title of the commander-in-chief. Article 98 stipulates there shall be a president who shall be also the commander-in-chief of the UPDF. So unless you amend that article, that thought wouldn't arise. When you talk of all elements, you now want to capture the new elements that have been created or built over the years. And again, like I said, for lack of doubt, to ensure there is no doubt, then you indicate what you are referring to as all elements. Brigadier Kulaiji stated that the voluminous UPDF establishment document provides for the governance structure of the UPDF by way of command, control and administration by the chief of the defense forces. The instrument is expected to eliminate ambiguities in reporting lines of all units in the forces. <laughs> President Yantekao and the answer of President Sosua UPDF, I mean was EDF. Buri Muntu and I it went to UPDF, a dominating UPDF, are the answer over Adam A. Chief of Defense Forces. Brigadier Kulaije adds that the instrument provides room for the expansion of the force beyond the present force services, such as the land forces, the elite special forces, air force, and the reserve forces. The instrument allows General Mbadi to make changes in the structure of units and their commanders and related offices. For instance, the Office of the Defense Spokesperson has since been renamed the Defense Public Information Office. The Joint Chief of Staff is Chief of Joint Staff. And then the other chiefs under him will follow that. Joint Chief of, uh, Chief of Joint Staff Human Resource, who has been the Chief of Personnel. Uh, Chief of Joint Staff security and intelligence, that's what has been the CMI. Access to the publication is limited to those in authority on a need-to-know basis. This is the first major change in the army structure since 2013 when the president appointed General Ronda Nyakairima as chief of defense forces while also establishing several army divisions. General Nyakairima's predecessor, Major General James Kazini, had been referred to as army commander at a time when the army had only four divisions. Jackson Onyango, NTV.